Sausage and pepper sandwich on the menu for today. Okay, so I cut the sausages. I, you know, I butterfly them because I don't want, I want them to cook evenly. I press down on them a little. And put them in my hot oil. Not oil, uh, my pan. This, these sausages will release some oil. And then that same oil is where I cooked my uh, onions and peppers. With a little adobo on them. And I also added a little vinegar, two caps of vinegar. I'm just showing you more or less what I made. The sandwich. Sausage and pepper sandwich and they are delicious. Oh my God. I buy these every time I go out to, in the queen section. There's a vendor. They sell sausage and pepper sandwiches. That's the only place where I can get them. So I said I'm going home and I'm going to make me some sausage and pepper sandwich. Okay, so you press down on them as they're cooking in here, right, so they can evenly cook, cook evenly. You turn them over and press down on them again. They'll kind of roll up on you a little bit, see? You press down on them, try to keep them straight. They might still roll, roll up, but you can keep trying to straighten them out, kind of like a pancake. Here we go. Okay, so I, all I did was add the sausage and peppers in here, which I had made earlier. I'm just heating them up a little to put them on my sausage and pepper sandwich. See, because I pressed down on them, you see how, how they didn't curl up? So that's why you must press down on them and also for them to cook even. Remember how it was curling up? Look, no more curling. As long as you press down, you're good. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just heating this up over here, the onions and the peppers. You will need one large red pepper, one large green pepper, and two onions to make at least four sandwiches. About two to three of the sausage will go into each sandwich. And this is what it will look like. Look at that deliciousness. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and have a blessed Sunday.